Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to do a bit of unboxing of this. Uh, so this did come from China, so it's an e-packet delivery. So let's check this out. Um, very nicely packaged, by the way, uh, with a lot of Chinese packing tape that I'll need to remove. And uh, I'm not quite sure what's in here, so I think we'll both find out roughly together as we explore this. So, uh, oh, it's the uh, new FlySky controller for the S500 build. So that's what I was kind of ho actually hoping this was. Um, use the garbage bag or something on the inside, or some kind of bag on the inside of this. So, um, I went with the 10 channel fly sky, so let's let's take a little bit closer look at the unboxing and see what's in there. This is a little bit newer model um, of what's out there, and it's got a little bit different design. You notice it doesn't have any external antennas. Um, the other one, actually, the older version, actually only has a fake external antenna, so I wasn't too too concerned about that. I think it's supposed to have a couple kilometer range, uh, if you would. So uh, again, so this is the unit, uh, 10 channels, and that was one of the big things, one of the big reasons for buying it, because I believe the older version is only a six channel, but you could flash it to a 10 channel. But I wanted to make sure that I natively got those extra channels uh, for a couple different reasons. So let's uh, pull this out. Ooh, wow, pretty. Um, so here it is, let's take it off. So here's the controller itself. Uh, wow, really nice feel to this. Uh, self-centering sticks. I noticed a lot of people kind of complain about the self-centering sticks. Um, but I, I kind of like this, especially for video work. So uh, it does appear to use uh, AA batteries, which again, people complain about the AA batteries. I use rechargeable double A's. Uh, I really like this because also if I'm in the field and the batteries go dead, I can just go to a local store, buy some double A batteries, throw it in, and I'm back flying again. Um, so I, I like the control buttons on the back, sort of like the DJ, DJI. I have to learn to start saying that correctly. Uh, no G in there. And again, dual power buttons to turn it on. I believe it's got a touch sensitive screen, multiple control switches, so you can program this to do about one of anything. And this is what, uh, to me, it was really important. Because I'm going to use this with the S500. Now, the S500 I'm building as to be an upscale video acquisition rig. Um, and so I want to put possibly even multiple cameras on it. And so I want the ability to have multiple controls as well as retractable legs. So I want to be able to flick a switch, have the legs retract and then be able to operate multiple cameras. And with all these buttons and controls, I'm sure to be able to do that. These are a little bit sharp though, these uh, end pieces. That could uh, wear on your fingers for a while, but it's definitely not going to slip off. Uh, so we got the back of the case. We do have the one receiver. I forget off the top of my head uh, how many receivers this can actually support, but it can support several. And that was the other thing that I found interesting about this is the fact you could run multiple uh, receivers with it. And again, this is uh, this is the binding plug that goes along with it. Uh, but I like the idea because I want to be able to have one controller and have a couple different models and be able to control the different models with just one controller rather than sort of relearning a controller for each each model. Um, I thought this came, but apparently not. There's some screws and some doohickey here. I thought it actually came with some sort of mount. Um, to go on here for uh, a tablet, but I guess it's no biggie because I actually don't plan on using a tablet with this. Um, there's some kind of DVD or CD in here, which I'm not sure for. Uh, now the other interesting piece is it does come with a USB connector. Um, and I'm not sure because it's got a DIN plug here in the bottom and a USB. So I'm not sure because this, as I thought, was supposed to be able to flash it. So uh, I wonder if you can use USB in this version too. I'll have to look at the, the instructions. And if you have one of these and you've done that, uh, please let me know below uh, if that's the case. Um, so I'm rather excited uh, with this. Uh, looks definitely like a quality unit. I'll have a link to this down below. 
So uh, if you're interested in picking up one of these, I'll definitely cover it out. Oh, the other thing I liked is it has dual controllers. You know, again, so you can you can actually set up a gimbal uh, to both yaw the gimbal as well as pitch it uh, to control a direction or to use a zoom of a camera to be able to pitch the gimbal and do a zoom camera deal. Um, I am planning on something like that, doing up my own interface from the receiver to a camera controller because uh, I want to do a, a little bit larger camera on the S500 series. Uh, especially I want to do near-infrared, uh, things like that. So again, this extra controls and wheels uh, was something I was looking forward to in the design of this. So uh, anyways, hopefully you found this interesting. Uh, I know I'm excited to have gotten it in and, and to work with it. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up down below. Happy to answer them for you. If you have any comments for me, also hit me up below. Uh, subscribe button is going to be coming up over there. If you're not a subscriber, please do. Uh, as you know, I put out videos on a regular basis, and we kind of cover the gambit from DJI to Up Air to SEMAs and, and uh, some uh, F450s and flame wheels and all that kind of stuff. So kind of like a mishmash across the board. So anyways, give it a thumbs up. We'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Cheers.